So when you get a new device, typically one of the most important steps is transferring data from the old phone to the new phone. And a common problem that a lot of people have is they're not able to transfer their message data, specifically WhatsApp data, from their old device to their new device. But thankfully, the people over at i2lab actually asked me if I wanted to go check out their software, What's Go, which actually allows you to transfer your WhatsApp data from your old phone to your new phone, restore from a Google Drive backup, and so much more. But if you guys do enjoy and you want to check out the software, make sure to go check it out using the link of the top of the description as well as the pinned comment but yeah let's get right into it and check out the software all right so i am on i2labs website for what's go and i just kind of wanted to go over the software itself kind of its features what it highlights and how you know you could actually use it how you can actually apply it to a scenario and a problem that you're trying to solve so basically it is a whatsapp transfer between android and iphone so if you want to transfer data between an android device and iphone device you can actually accomplish that through the software easily uh, you know one click transfer between Android and iOS, transfer it in a simple way, a wide range of data type, including WhatsApp messages, videos, images, contacts, etc. You can download a backup from a Google Drive and restore it to the actual iPhone or Android, as well as previewing, restoring the backup. And it's fully compatible with Android 14 and iOS 17, which is great. And we can see there is a bit of a speed comparison right here, as well as a success rate comparison. And if we go down here, it kind of outlines the different ways of the process you know android to iphone iphone to android android to android iphone to iphone so that is basically that and then just going down here we can see the different applications for the software itself so that is basically that and what we're actually going to do is we're going to get what's go actually fired up and i'm going to show you how the software actually works itself all right so we're in what's go right now we can see this is what the interface looks like we are given three different options we are given the whatsapp transfer the whatsapp business transfer as well as the gb whatsapp and it kind of gives you the options here so we can do whatsapp backup so we can restore whatsapp backup to the computer and actually free up storage on our device so that would be for our iphone which i'm actually going to show you that in a second we can also restore from a backup and then we can also restore a whatsapp backup from google drive so three different options there and then if we come down here the exact same as well as right here the exact same except we aren't given the google drive option for the gb whatsapp transfer so yeah that is basically that yeah i'm actually going to show you how we can actually back up an iphone whatsapp data to start off so it's going to give us the option we can see that our phone is the only device connected to the computer we're going to actually press back up and basically what it's going to do is it's going to analyze the device environment it's also going to make us type in our password so i'm going to do that on my phone and then what it's going to do is it's going to back up the whatsapp data on the phone itself so this is going to be any data that you have on whatsapp itself i actually use this to communicate with different sponsors um, some of my management team editors designers so it's very useful if i did get a new phone and i wanted to transfer my existing whatsapp data over to a new device for example i just got an iphone 13 so i actually use this to transfer my data already so yeah that's kind of useful it's gonna just do its thing but yeah i'll skip through to when this is actually done all right so we actually just backed up the whatsapp to the computer so it was super easy literally like super 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 easy to actually do it i'm kind of in awe of how easy it was to do this but yeah it was super easy i didn't have any problems whatsoever um but let me just quickly show you how the transfer process actually works i'm not actually gonna be transferring it because i already transferred all of my data over to my ios device about a week ago when i first got the actual uh, new phone so for example you would just start it up right here you would be able to pick the other destination so what you would do is you would pick the iPhone and I'm just gonna quickly go get a second device to show you what this would actually look like so just give me a second all right guys so I finally got my second phone connected um, it is actually the next day of recording this video because I had to a find my old phone and then I also had to charge it up and then you know I kind of let it do its thing um, so it is the morning after and uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the whole transfer process and kind of picked up where we left off so basically we can see the whatsapp transfer which I showed you before but I didn't have my second device to actually show you how it works so i'm just gonna press start and then we will select our two different phones we can see this is the iphone 13 hypothetically if we were transferring the data we would select the source as the old phone and then we would pick the destination as the new phone so we do the iphone xr to the iphone 13 and then what we do is we press transfer and then it will ask us to make sure that whatsapp has been actually upgraded to the latest version which it has so i'm gonna press continue it says whatsapp data will be 
be overwritten on the XR. Do you want to continue? I'm going to press continue. And then once we actually press continue, it's going to run us through the process, but it's actually going to make me type in my password on my 13 and then it will continue with the process. So it's going to load through. It'll give us percentage updates, kind of let us know where it's at in the process with the actual transfer itself. We'll go through this. It'll detect the preparations of the target device and then transfer it. Ultimately, I believe when I did it before, it took me about 10 minutes and that's because I didn't have a lot of data. Um, so it depends on really how much you're transferring. So that's always a good thing. And it was 100% successful. I didn't lose out on any data or image transfers or anything. Everything was like exactly the same as the way I left it on my old phone. So that's always great. And uh, yeah, but if you guys want to go check out what's go, I'm gonna have a link at the very top of the description as well as the pinned comment. If you guys want to go check that out, massive shout out to the people over at i 2 for actually making this video possible and allowing me to check out what's go. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. I'll be sure to get around to all of them, but I hope you guys did enjoy like comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.